Welcome everybody to Elephants on Business podcast, improving our small business journey together one episode at a time. Today we're going to be talking about goals and creating a vision for your business. Uh, got Sam with us today again. G'day Sam. G'day everyone. So as I said in the intro, goals and visions, obviously it's very important when it comes to small business. Um, so obviously having that direction, it is December now. You know, probably having that reset is a nice time to do it before going into the new financial year. or uh, Sorry, the new year. Um, so the first point that we've got is obviously goals uh, provide a direction for your business. Yeah, so I think you, uh, you can just tick along with business. Yeah, if you don't have goals, you can just kind of tick along and don't really know what you're trying to achieve, why you're doing it. So by having that direction, it can... Uh, you know, help you take your business where you want to go and it gives you a clear path to do that. Um, but what we find also is um, sometimes having that goal, you, there's a problem sometimes attached, like you're trying to achieve that goal, but then you identify there might be a sales problem, there might be a back-end problem, might be yeah. you know, a material problem. Um, so, you know. Yeah, so essentially the goals keep you focused um, around obviously your your business, right, and what you're trying to achieve, and as Sam has uh, sort of pointed out, generally like a goal or a vision is set to correct maybe a business problem uh, that you want to tackle over the six months, twelve months, eighteen months journey. Um, so if it's one, you know, you need to get more sales in the door, that might be your goal for the for the twelve months journey, and and you know then you need to identify, okay, that's my specific problem. Um, and then how do I tackle that, right? So the, f- the first one is obviously define that problem clearly and and have that problem on a piece of paper saying, yep, problem is sales, for example, and then how do I go about tackling it, right? So there is a couple of steps there. Yeah, and, so um, you'd want to try to gather the relevant information um, like how, I suppose, why is there problem sales? Um, is it, you know, prices might be too high, prices are too low, um, is there not many customers, customers aren't calling in, is it a lead flow problem, is it, you know, uh, not word of mouth not kicking in, customers are not happy. So it's really just gathering, yeah, gathering all the information. Gathering information and then, you know, you lay it all out so then um, gives you some options, I suppose. Yeah, so then from there, obviously, you've got your possible options from, you know, going through those uh, uh, data points. And then based on those options, then, you you know, you can determine the best way to move forward and, and tackle the solution there. And I think with the options, obviously, um, you know, sometimes it's not the best to pick the first one off the, the ranks, like the first solution you think about. I think you have to lay out all your options, come back, you know, discuss with your business partners if you have any uh, or, you know, discuss with potential customers, clients or whatever it may be just to get some feedback and work out is that the actual solution that I'm after as well along the way. Um, and then obviously you need to assess, you know, the the good side of that um, option and also, you know, is there any consequences of that option as well? So going back to your point, if prices were low and, you know, you want to increase sales, you know, there might be a consequence of going, oh, well, I'll just jack up the prices. Maybe there's another way you can do it to generate more revenue rather than just going, well, I'll just increase pricing to generate revenue. Um, I'm not saying that's, you know, so there's always those options to look at, okay? So, and then going into the next point, um, obviously goals motivate and inspire, especially if you have a small business, you know, you've got maybe one or two staff that you've just employed or, you know, You've got a couple of staff just around. You need to make sure that they're motivated, right? Yeah, so that's what we do in our business. We um, kind of have business goals um, and then share that openly with the team because, um, you know, it gives them uh, a bit of motivation, I suppose. Everyone's working as one. You might uh, give them your team bonus or rewards if everyone's achieving what we want to achieve. Um but yeah, we obviously got some points here as well on how to motivate and inspire um, your team, I suppose, as well. So um, yeah, be very clear with the goal, right, yeah. and communicate that goal to the team, and then just go through those points. Then I guess like what's it, that clear goal and expectation, 
Yeah, so we kind of like, uh, you know, tell them, you know, we expect this from them, um, you know, what they should be doing. Um, and then as well, it's very important. It's not just to be uh, like on someone saying you got to try to, um, you know, hit these goals and then there's no, oh, you know, no um, pos- positive feedback saying, oh, you've achieved this. Um it's just not like you want to be on someone's back just going constantly, let's keep pushing, 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 and yeah. there's no positive reinforcement or positive feedback for when they do that. Yeah, so like reward yeah. um, reward, you, reward your staff, maybe a bonus, or even just, you know, as you said, just, you know, give them uh, positive reinforcement, saying you've, you've done a great job, things like that, just to, you know, push and motivate um, your staff members. Obviously, with that, you know, as your business grows and is goals that you've set um it might provide more opportunities for staff as well uh to grow and develop you know and as your team grows you know some of the staff might step up to training and you know obviously you know that's a great thing to have within a growing small business that's what we like as well is like you're always like good to set a hiring at the height like if you can develop within it's um we find that's a lot better method um to give the team we currently to you know push to a higher positions um it just it involves a better culture yeah and it motivates them knowing that there's probably a position available and you're not going to hire um you know for that and 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 the team can naturally go into that so it, it is a great little motivator there and obviously you, you know you do also want to lead by example there mm-hmm. um when it comes to motivating and inspiring you can't come in all negative you know, you've got to be quite positive each day, um, making sure your team's quite positive and just that positive sort of culture around the office makes a big difference, you know? Yeah. Uh, the next one on the list is, you know, uh, with goals, you obviously you obviously need to measure certain goals as well as you're going along, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, setting a goal is one thing, but also knowing where, where it's going and how you're tracking it is another tool like is is a whole set of different uh tools that you you would need to track towards that right so mm. i guess you know when we when we set the goal how do we generally measure those goals yeah so there's different uh metrics you can use like the first one there's financial metrics so it's like is it turnover is it profit is it you know we want x amount of money coming to the business um is it um you know fees per client or yeah. you know profit per job so they're all uh, financial metrics um, and then the next one we have is operational metrics so it's like um, efficiency um, so how quick things are being turned around yeah to, uh, customer, customer satisfaction, satisfaction so yeah. it's like you'd be surveys to the customers just you know you want positive feedback because they're happy about the product so it's not just uh, you know yeah, like what's, what's my sales yeah. look like, right? So like look at, you know, how customers are perceiving that product or service. You know, excellent customer satisfaction will probably lead to a bit of word of mouth, which yeah. then helps your business move along. Um, and that last one in this section is to, to, just to a, measure progress. It's just effectiveness of um, of your business operations. So it's like, um, yeah, how, every, how smoothly, I suppose, the whole business is operating um, yeah. as, as one, not, you know. Um, the next point we have there is KPIs. Um, so, yeah, you want to speak about that one also? Yeah, so KPIs are just generally like um, indicators for like the key personnel. So, you know, to track them uh, uh, potentially and see how they're going towards uh, certain goals that you've set. So, you know, if, if, if it's uh, a person on the sales side, you know, how many conversions are they hitting, things like that. Um, if it's uh, someone that's in a management or training role, you know, how many training sessions have they run? You know, if you're in a specific different industry, you know, like training towards, you know, junior staff, how many sets of like, um, you know, training modules or, you know, really uh, targeting specific areas that you really want to measure. Um, you know, they, they, could, they could yeah, be yeah. quite vast. You know, you can just come up with a lot of different styles and, and, and tracking mechanisms there. Um, it's just, you know, based on your goal, what 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 do you want to achieve, and then re-engineering that backwards to track it. I think that's probably one of the most important ones. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, and then obviously the, the other one that's quite important in this area is just feedback from, um, you know, your employees as well. So like, uh, obviously when you set goals and you might be pushing your staff, you know, you do obviously want their feedback in terms of, you know, how, how they're feeling, you know, performance wise, are they feeling burnt out, things like that, just so you can measure also like, am I burning my staff out? Do we need more capacity and things like that? So yeah. like the staff will always give you nice guidance around that too. Um, and then obviously, you know, if you're there day to day operating the business, you should get a gauge of how people are feeling. If they're feeling stressed, tense, and just always exhausted and tired, there's probably something there that you need to really look just, at. Yeah, it's probably something you, um, as well, that one, I think that point is you need to make the employees feel comfortable speaking their mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, so open and transparent, like we do monthly meetings with all our staff to be, you know, like that. So whether or not you need your HR person to feel, you know, uh, as a third party, you know, they can feel like they can... They speak. can be open. Yeah, because you don't want to always say, oh, everything's good, and then, you know, maybe it's something so small and tri- trivial, but it can be fixed quite easy. And obviously there's surveys and things that you can do anonymously yeah. there as well. But obviously when you have a small business, probably the number of staff aren't quite large, so you'll probably be able to identify <laughs> which staff <laughs> gave you that survey. But, I mean, if you have that culture where staff are open and... and uh, you know communicate to you with the problems i think that's the culture that you want to foster um and then the last one here obviously around goals is you know the benefit also you know it's from an accountability uh point of view too right so like not only does it keep the business owner accountable it also keeps your staff accountable you know basically once you've set the goals and you've relayed that to your team and to yourself you know putting something up on the whiteboard saying we're going to hit these sort of metrics you know it's it has that accountability um backing in it which can co- yeah which keeps you honest and and makes it, it sort of makes sure that you're on track right yeah so i suppose um yeah several ways you can keep your team kind of accountable is and yourself uh, as business yeah. owners as well as um you know the goal's got to be clear. So, like, you can't be shifting the goalposts every two seconds, I suppose. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the expectations should be uh, clear for the team members as well, you know. So, it's like what's expected of them and um, how they can work towards meeting these expectations. So, you don't have goals, like, you know, that are unrealistic for them because then they're just going to be more likely to just go, well, it's pointless, I can't hit that. So... They need to be achievable. Um, so. Yeah, and then we, we try and have them, you know, obviously achievable, but also a little bit ambitious at times as well, um, which, you know, promotes people to work a little bit harder and, um, you know, it also promotes us as business owners to work harder because we've put that goal on, you know, um, our whiteboard or, you know, it's conveyed around the whole team that we're going to tackle this goal and, you um, you know, the last thing you want to do is, you know, not like appear to fail on on not even tracking that goal or not even you know discussing it after you've set it. So, you know, that accountability metric it keeps you honest, and then at least you've got meetings where you convey how things are going, and um, yeah, just keeps you honest, I guess. I, I think that pretty much wraps up today's um, episode. So just to quickly go through it again, high level, you know, obviously. You know, you, you want to set the goal to provide direction within the business. You know, the goal is there to motivate and inspire your staff. Um, you know, you, you also want goals that you can measure and, and not only from a financial perspective, but operational pr- perspective just to see how you're going. And then obviously the goals uh, keep you and, you and your team accountable. Um, that's pretty much it. So if you've enjoyed this episode, please give us a like and a share and we'll catch you on the next one cheers thanks guys